Hello calculus students. In this problem we're going to calculate an integral and it's in rectangular coordinates but we're going to convert it to polar coordinates. So here is the uh, function we're going to integrate and the region is uh, it's a circle but it's cut up at the top by this line here. So you get um, this circle here, radius 7, and then you have this line cutting it and what you're left with is this region D here that I colored in green. So I plotted the line here y equals 7 minus x just to make it clear that when x is 0 you're up here at 7 and when x is 7 you're down here at y is 0. But uh, we will revert to this x plus y equals 7 in a moment. So and here's the uh, circle x squared plus y squared equals 7 squared just so that it's clear that this is a circle of radius 7. So we're going to calculate the integral of this function over this region here. So what I do is I convert it to polar coordinates. Now I let uh, the transformation be x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. Then I substitute these two into the function here and I'm left with a function of r and theta now. Simply r cosine theta minus r sine theta and I just factor out the r and I have this function here. So I put that into my integral and now that's my integrand. Theta is just going on this part of the quarter circle so that's going between pi over 2 and 0 so my limits of integration are 0 to pi over 2 so that's for d theta. Now don't forget you have to compute the Jacobian of this transformation so you get r and then um, we will integrate over dr so this is the conversion for the area element in polar coordinates r dr d theta. Now I did not put the limits of integration for r because as you can see they're going to be a little tricky. Um, you have r is 7 here but then the radius is doesn't go from 0 to 7 the entire for the entire region. In fact um, r is 7 out here on the arc of the semicircle or the quarter circle, but r follows this line defined by this equation here, x plus y equal to 7. So we could revert to the polar coordinates in order to get the limits of integration for r. And what we do here is we let x be r cosine theta and y be r sine theta just as we did before when we did the integrand however we can do that for this line here x plus y equals 7 that's this line going on this way we let x be r cosine theta y be r sine theta and then we simply solve for r and that'll give us the lower bound on this region so that means that r is less than 7, that, that's because r is swept out here on the radius, so r is less than 7, and r is greater than this line here, which is defined by 7 over cosine plus sine. Now we're ready to integrate, so uh, I just combine the r's here, so I get an r squared, and then I have my limits of integration, 7 over cosine plus sine, up to 7 and then 0 to pi over 2 and then I just simply do the integration. I integrate with respect to r first so I get r cubed over 3. I plug in my limits of integration and I am left with uh, of course 7 cubed over 3 minus and then I put 7 cubed over 3 and I put the cosine plus sine in there and I have cosine plus uh, sine cubed because I'm putting it in for r. Now, I have to integrate with respect to theta, but before I do that, I'm going to clean up this integral a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 7 cubed over 3, I'm going to factor it out, and then I'm going to break up this integral into two, its two constitutive parts. So I have uh, this part here, which is um, this function times 7 cubed over 3, I have that here. And then I have a minus 7 cubed over 3, and I have that multiplied by the cosine uh, uh, minus sine, which I distributed into this function, and I have that here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the order here. Instead of writing as cosine plus sine, you'll see I write that as sine plus cosine, and you'll see why in a moment. So now I just have to simply integrate. 
I integrate cosine, I get sine, I integrate sine, I get minus cosine, so I have a sine plus cosine. But this integral is going to be 0. If you put in pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is 1, plus cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so I have a 1. Minus sine of 0, which is 0, and cosine of 0, which is 1, so I have a 1 minus 1. And this integral will be 0. This integral I'll do next. So for this integral, I do a u substitution. I compute the Jacobian here. Remember, that's in one dimension. And uh, now I have du equals cosine minus sine d theta. So this here becomes du. So now I'm left with du over u cubed. However, if you check the limits of integration, when theta is 0, sine of 0 is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so u is equal to 1. So that's this lower limit of integration. When theta is pi over 2, sine of pi over 2 is 1, but cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so u is equal to 1. And that's the upper limit of integration. And any integral with the same limits of integration will simplify to 0. So after all that work, the uh, integral turns out to be 0. All right, good luck.